Welcome to this look at a new map on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. This is Dutch Colony. This is a new map out from Dutchfield who bought us Holland Seveld. It is 223.93 megabytes to download. It's set in the border area of Groningen and Drenthe in the Netherlands. It's a fictional map based on the Dutch bog colony. After the bog was dug out, there was enough space to create large fields for arable crops. And then we're going to have a look around and see what you can find here. This, I'm on New Farmer, normal economy, as I always do my map tools. There are no custom crops on this map. Uh, there's one mod that the modder has put in, and that's a sleep trigger, which we're going to have a look at just now this is where we start we'll have a look at the map in just a second but just here by the front door we've got these boots these were on holland savelles as well that's your sleep trigger and the great thing with that like the doormats you can place those anywhere which i think is absolutely brilliant uh contracts are available and the biogas is available to buy now talking about the biogas plant there are two required mods I will put those in the description, but they do download automatically. So when you download the map, uh, it's the Crop Storage by DMI 20mm Normandy and the Lizard Biogas Plant by Full Power Shift are required mods. But like I said, on, well, on, on PlayStation at least, they did download automatically. So what we're going to do is actually we're going to look at the map first to see where we are. This is the map. Very nice indeed. It's Holland. Not all of Holland is completely flat, but this area is pretty much flat. I don't think there are any hills I've come across so far. We start here, and our new farmer, we start with this farm with the sleep trigger just there. Field 5 and field 8, nice size fields. Field prices do vary, uh, for example. Field 21 is 60,000, and then we've got something like field 25, which is 588. They do... I don't think there's one that's more expensive than 588. I think that's one of the more expensive fields. Yeah, probably. Field 25 is one of the most expensive. So it does give you some scope to gradually grow if you want to grow. Now, as far as animals are concerned on this map, as you look around, there aren't any. They are hidden. <laughs> you have to buy the plots of land for them to show up. Down here, just south of field 24, is a cow farm. Just here, south of field 20, we've got cows and sheep. Just here, south of field 14, we've got a pig farm. Just here, south of field 45, we have got a cow farm. Uh, here, just south of 38, we've got a cow farm. And then all the way down here, just south of 27, we've got a chicken farm. What I'm going to do now is just cut to a screenshot I took earlier showing them highlighted so you can kind of see them on the map just to say that i'm not lying <laughs> they are there okay so turn that off from here let's have a look around our yard that we start with now the great thing about the boots is that any of those farms where the animals are and there are a couple of other locations as well around the map well, you could decide that that's going to be home plate. That's going to be your, you know, it doesn't have to be here off the start. But on New Farmer, we do start with a fair bit of equipment and some pretty cool stuff too. We start with a roper. Well, we, do, you know, we do start with a fair bit of stuff. Roper Panther too. Very nice indeed. So as far as slot counts go then, before we get on to look at the machinery, on New Farmer... 747 out of 1299 slots used but we do start with a lot of equipment if you come onto this on farm manager or start from scratch that drops down to 535 which is a, which is a lot more manageable but you don't start with any of the equipment the buildings and stuff are all in place you can't sell any of these and what i do like going around the map is at each of the farms it's, it's almost like farming on, a, on an industrial scale huge buildings ready for you know loads and loads of work each of the farms has at least a couple of, of silage clamps bunker silos and fair size ones as well 
pretty much all the doors open and the and the, the space you've got is cavernous at most of the farms too what we will do is have a look in each of these which is where all the equipment is we've got quite a few of these as well i think on holland Seveld, these were the sheep pens underneath weren't they um, but we have got haylofts in a few of them, so you can put your bales up out the way if you want to. It gives you a bit more storage space. But like I said, there's, there's no shortage of storage, storage space. You won't have a problem at all. Have a quick look in here too, because I think we've got a magnum in this one. Please open. Oh, it's that door. <laughs> trying to open the concrete section in the middle. That's not going to work, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Some pretty big gear. I think that's it for equipment. Better just double check I've missed something. And then we got a bunker silo here at this one. But weirdly, actually, this was the one that didn't show up. Yeah. There's, they're all over the place, all the different farms. But I suppose because there's no animals here. But that one didn't come up with a trigger saying compacting or fill level. All the others did. Oh, that's what I meant to check. There's these little domed, what look like, um, digestate tanks dotted all across the map and I meant to check to see if you could buy digestate from them I'll have to do that and then um, put something up on the screen so let's just close that start equipment if we go to our garage we start with a Puma 200 CVX a Steyr Profi CVT 4145 we've got a, a Case Magnum 340 CVX we've got a John Deere T560 Roper Panther, Joskin Transpace, header for the John Deere Harvester, the header for the Roper Panther. We've got a Cultivator, we've got a uh, Cedar, the Lemkin Solitaire 12, I like, I like that. I mean, the equipment's top-notch stuff. You can see why a slot count drops from 747 to 535, the amount of gear you start with. Uh, planter, um, front tank for planter or cedar. Herbicide fertilizer, liquid fertilizer sprayer, header trailer, and then the farm boots, which is your sleep trigger which can be removed and then put anywhere else so we've got a fair bit of stuff there what i was thinking i might do not that we need to uh i was going to put in a load of money and then when we get to each of the farms you can see them highlighted but you'll see the stuff's there anyway uh we need to grab a vehicle then what shall i grab uh let's go around in the let's go into the magnum might as well why not go big or go home So, from our start farm, now I get the feeling because there are three cow farms? Four cow farms, yeah, four cow farms. Um, it's a kind of dairy area. There's lots of grass fields that can be bought. But we do have, yeah, we have got pigs and chickens. There, there are no horses on the map, but it's nice and flat. You should be able to play stuff. I'm going to head this way first, just to take in this one. So this one is south of field 24, and I think this one was just cows at this one, as far as I can recall. So, like I said, industrial scale. Nice big shelters and buildings. Our livestock trigger is here, but the livestock triggers don't work unless you own the land. Water troughs, on, I think on, on Holland Seveld, it was difficult to work out where the water went. That's been kind of rectified on here. Each of the, the animal pens has got one of these for your water. I oh, know, actually, livestock trigger was here, wasn't it? Apologies. So we've got livestock trigger, feed trigger around the side, water trigger here. I think down the, in the side of here is um, feed and bedding, I think, down in this one. They're going to be around somewhere, you know, it's, it's not going to be miles away. But we do then have, like I said, bunker silos, loads of them. That, I think, is the manure um, clamp, so that when the animals are producing manure, it goes in there. And I think that's just a trigger for collecting it back out again, as far as I can tell. Bunker silos, yeah, these ones work. Two big old bunker silos here. We do have more shed space although i don't think there are triggers in there unless that's where the bedding goes but like i said it's not going to be that far away to find
and then our slurry pits at the moment that's empty which is very cool and there are a few of those knocking around because there are points around the map where you can actually buy slurry and you can buy manure uh, when you open those up at the points where you can buy slurry there's slurry already in there so oh yeah more bunker silos here as well <laughs> thought better point those out while I'm here as well you know what I am going to do what I said just bear with me a second so here which is where we are here south of field 24 I've taken out a massive loan just made it easier 450,000 to buy this particular farm so let's buy it and as you can see that now comes up here south of 24 this will hold 300 cows now I think there you go so the triggers there for buying selling loading or unloading I think the milk trigger is here by the churns all of them that have cows it does have a milk trigger this does extend quite a long way out I don't know if that's shifted over a little bit or something but it extends quite a long way out so that's the trigger and that's how much this one costs and this one like I said will hold 300 of your earth cows so what we're going to do now is head up the road we're going to do a clockwise route round I hope I'm going to cross over because the traffic all seems to go up and down this side I want to try and beat that car to cross over but this side is actually not as much traffic if any which is rather nice so as you can see nice flat landscape lighting's nice on this I like the, the textured um, kind of colour palette used the, the textured palette if you want to call it that looks very nice just on our left we have a fuel point but this is one of those yards I was talking about that you can buy um, and it can be your start farm if you want to and put your sleep trigger here you don't have to the only thing that's in here is a fuel point which I think might be inside the building or could be around behind the building oh there, there you go over in the corner but there's no sell point here there's no livestock triggers we've got quite a few of these buildings as well knocking around each of the doors opens but it is along all the way through and I think pretty much all the buildings do have light switches as well it's closing fantastic across the road from here I'm just going to swim through the ditch very nice we've got our sawmill this is the lumber one now there are two on the map this one up here is this the lumber trigger as you can see there the other one which is down on the southern part of the map is um, for your wood chips it's in a very strange location though which I thought was a bit odd then we've got a fuel station just past there we're now going to head up to this agricultural firm I to think what the sell point is well we've got a buy point and the sell point then we'll head a bit further up and we'll go to the livestock market and but the, the level of detail is fantastic I, I think as well with the slot count down at 535 if you come on here on farm manager and start from scratch it's a very very nice looking map now I know a lot of people weren't over the moon with with Holland Savelt because of all the drainage ditches and they are all over the place and a lot of people just didn't enjoy that I like it I, you know the Holland Savelt let's play I was doing with Celia G I, I was thoroughly enjoying um, just an update on Celia G if, if you're you know if you're interested um, she is in the run-up to her A-level exams and obviously with the current lockdown situation it's all a little bit up in the air she is absolutely snowed under with coursework revision work um, they're doing remote learning which is putting an added pressure on to everybody I think teachers included um, so hence the reason she hasn't done any videos for absolutely ages she just she hasn't got the time um, unfortunately because we were thoroughly enjoying doing that now sell point here at the agriculture firm is in here in the middle of this building that when you put the um, tag place on it puts it right through the middle of the building here then we've got a buy point which is actually just here by these containers and this is the agricultural buy point uh, ag, ag supplies I think it is you can buy chaff lime pig food TMR solid fertilizer seeds silage herbicide and liquid fertilizer here 
so we've come from the cow farm actually while I'm on there let's sell that back uh, so we've come up here stop to have a look at there sawmill fuel station we've come up now so agricultural firm sell point and agricultural supplies buy point we're going to continue up we're going to animal dealer and then what we'll do is while we're on here let's buy that because that's the pig farm so we'll get to that in just a moment i will actually did i put the lights on don't recall don't want to turn them off in case someone's still working there that could be frustrating couldn't it So continuing north. Oh, we've got a slightly higher bit there, look. Does that count as a hill? Yeah. Let's say it does. <laughs> so up here we've got the livestock market, we've got a buy point and a sell point. Livestock market trigger is pretty much here. I think this does open. But you can buy, sell, load or unload any of your... Actually, why is that? Oh, it's because pigs is the only one I own at the moment. So why is it only showing pigs? Because the pig farm is the only one that I've got purchased at the moment, which is actually right here, right next to us. Carry on round. And we've got a slurry buy point. And this is what I was talking about. Open that up and you can see the slurry in there. So that's a buy point for slurry and then we've got a sell point here and this is two one of two forage sell points on a lot of maps that comes up as bale sell point or barn sell point um, so if we look in here at our sell points we are at the pool gerber forage and if we scroll right the way across it's one of two because we've got uwe ziegler i think it is um, and the prices are pretty good. Silage, 705 and um, 744 for silage here. So that's kind of your bale barn sell point, if you want to call it that. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, we'll get around to the biogas plant later. Um, why have I still got my torch on? That's closed up. So, the first flag that was down at the main farm is the Groningen, the Groninger flag, and that's the Drenthe flag, fluttering proudly. I'm sorry, I know I have a lot of Dutch subscribers and viewers. I know I was in Holland, so I had lots of people messaging me. Sandor being one of them. Give me advice on how I should, you know. Some people said I did all right. I do try, I'm just, yeah. <laughs> So, turning in here, this is the pig farm. Now, at a lot of the farms, I don't think, did I show it at the cow farm? I don't think I did. We've got a lot of these points which go into the, the ditches. Um, these are water points, there are quite a few of them knocking around. So here, slurry point, which as you can see, there's nothing in it. Now where was, oh it's here. The animal dialogue boxes for the pigs for buy, sell, load or unload. And here this will hold 300 pigs at the pig farm. Feed trough was, I think it was one of these. And bedding, as far as I know, goes in the inside. This is a little bit like the one on, I think, Geiselsberg, was it? It was quite low, difficult to get things into. But yeah, 300 pigs you can house here. And the manure pit was... Oh, yeah, it was right there around the back, I remember now. So many different buildings and barns and stuff. Um, there is a track that runs down the side. Quite a long building, bear with. Did I just say that? Bear with me. Good grief. What have I become? Uh, right the way around the back. It's quite a way out of the way. <laughs> There you go. There's your manure pit, just around there. Um, I did think you'd be able to cut through the doors there, through the middle section, but you can't. So that's the pig farm. We're going to head east now. 
Thank you so much. And we come in to the next of the cow farms. So we are now here, just below field 45. I just purchased this one um, to buy it. It was 446,342. Quite a large property. There you go, water point just there. Bunker silos. Dialogue box is just here. This one is 250 cows. This will hold. Yeah, the trigger doesn't extend out on this one. It's in there. But that should be feed and bedding. Should be. Slurry pit. Again, empty because we've got no animals in there. And then we've got more bunker silos up around the back. Up that track, there's another two bunker silos just there. You'd also have that, that huge pasture. Water trough is here. Again, nice and easy to find and easily marked. Plenty of barn and building space in this one too. I mean, that seems pretty pretty standard. One thing none of the farms to have, and there is a toolbox mod. You can, Well, there are a few different toolbox placeable mods you can put down. Um... Because they don't have workshops. Um, there is a, uh, the main store. And it's weird because it does say buyable repair shop. Now that is the main store as far as I can tell. I looked all around the map and I bought all different plots of land to have a look. Because I wasn't sure whether there was actually like a site somewhere you could buy and it was a repair shop. As far as I can tell, the plot of land that the store's on, you can buy. So I'm assuming that's what that means because I couldn't find one anywhere else. But if you do want to have a repair point, workshop trigger at your farm there are loads of placeables available you can put one down they don't take up a lot of space almost like the jet washes really so continuing east we're just about to swing around and head south down the eastern side of the map and we come to this area here which is a viable point like the one on the other side but this is not an animal point this is another fuel point but could be your start farm if you wanted it to be there are, like I say, there are no animals at this one, but plenty of barn space, open space for placeables, silos. That's another thing we don't start with. We don't have a silo. Um, so, yeah, there's plenty of room for place and fuel points just over there with loads and loads of building space available. So, yeah, silos might be something, obviously, you might want to place, but there's there's no worries. It's all pretty flat should be okay right continuing south now down the eastern edge of the map right over right over on the eastern edge of the map there's a train that runs right up the side of the map like a passenger one it goes up the side of the map every now and again i noticed it a little while ago when i was whizzing around checking on something but it is, it is right right over there up by the trees little bridges and cycleways and footpaths and stuff running across the map at various different locations we'll do this one first then we'll go to that one turning up here the next of the farms this is was this cows as well probably i think it was actually the next cow farm on our journey You can see a theme here, can't you? Now, whilst the, the layouts aren't standard, the buildings are all in different positions, we are finding at each one a water point, a water trough, we do have bunker silos, plenty of barn and building space, and I think the trigger around this one was at the other end. 
Another one of those buildings with all the doors. More bunker silos there. Uh, oh, yeah. We'll sell that one. So we come around the corner, down past here. We're now in here. So this one here. 427,682. Next cow farm. Where was the livestock trigger on this one? I was decide. Just confuse matters. This side's got the triggers for feed and straw as well as the livestock trigger. Why not? Where are we? South of field 38. So this is 250 cows this will hold. Where was the slurry point? Is it down the side of here? There we go. Slurry point just there. So the next point we're going to get to, which is literally just out of the main road, is a sell point for slurry. Now what you can do, if you want to, because there are points for buying slurry, as I showed you, the Paul Gerber one, which was all up there, Paul Gerber slurry. We have also got another one further south, there's that one there, Jonafria slurry. And then we've got one down here, is that Uwe Ziegler slurry. So you can buy slurry. But that's a sell point. So the Florian Koning slurry sell. So you could just become a slurry merchant if you want to. Now on normal economy, I think I bought about 13,000 litres just to test it. Because I stupidly read that rather than Jonah Freer, I read it as free slurry. So I thought, oh, that's cool. Get a free slurry, then sell it. But I think it was something like 300, 400 euro. And I think I sold it for the 2,000 euros. So the, the markup's pretty good. You can make a tidy bit of money if you want to just go tank in slurry. You can be that guy that comes and helps out the farmers and clears the slurry tanks out and then just makes a bit of money selling it on as a fertiliser to someone. So, sell point is just here. The trigger comes up at Florian Koning slurry sell. So as soon as you've got something, a tanker or something that carries it, the trigger will come up from here. There we go, just made it round. Carry on. We've got one of the slurry buy points that I just showed you on the map. Which is just there again, barn and building space. If you wanted this to be your start farm, it could be. I'm not going to go into there. It's another one of those little wooden traps in the floor. You open it up and that's the buy point for slurry. Carrying on. We've got a marshland area. Now, I don't know if this is like a, a like a drainage sink, like an area, the drainage ditch is sort of draining to that slightly lower lying wetland area, maybe. I don't, regardless, it's, there's a wetland area with a, a grass field over in the back corner. If you go right over there, that's what I, that's when I saw the train, because I was curious to see what else was over there. But it's a bit of marshland. Just want to check something on the map, because... So we come from there, past... Is it Jonah? Or you could be Jonah Freer. Slurry, sorry. Uh, is there anything down that one? New. No. Round the corner. So what I will do is... We'll sell that. We'll buy the next one, which is this one down here. For 271,299. And that is your chicken farm. Oh, sorry. There is a bit of lumber around the map, not what I would say a designated forest forestry area, forest area. It, there's a little bit knocking around it. I don't think that's the kind of point of this map is not as a forestry map per se. So swing around into here. We have got our buy point and sell point because you can't load or unload chickens here. The chicken farm will hold 500 chickens. The point for egg boxes to spawn where was that 
Am I going to go mad here? Oh, there you go. Just now, I knew it was in one of these. That's where your egg boxes will spawn. And then your feed point for the chickens is down this end. So for your 500, that'll be there. 500 chickens should produce a fair amount of eggs. Very nice indeed. Plenty of space. Could this be your start farm? Become an uber chicken farmer. But I think one of the things that sort of stands out for me again on this one is that as a multiplayer map, because there are so many different cow farms, or so many different farms in general, um, you know, you could all pick one and away you go kind of thing, which would be quite nice. Only downside to that is because you can only have 10, so 10 animal pens in total placed. You've already got, how many have you got? One, two, three, four, five, six already. Yeah, six on the map already, which aren't removable. So it doesn't give you a lot of scope for adding more in yourself. But, I mean, you still put a couple in if you wanted to. Oh, I meant to say, this map is seasons ready. It is also precision farming ready with a custom soil map prepared. Now that little farm there, again, it's just a building with a barn behind it. That sliver of land is really, really cheap. Just through there. Again, if you wanted that to be your start farm, what we're going to do is turn in here. Because here we've got a sell point and two more buy points. We've got a buy point for slurry, which is just there. This was the Uwe Ziegler, I think it was, wasn't it? Slurry point is just there. And then we've got the second of the forage sell points for your bales. I think they do take loose product as well, don't they? Or is it just bales? I haven't sold at a barn or bale sell point for such a long time. I usually use all mine. And then we come further down through here. We've got a manure buy point. I think that's the only one on the map for manure. So we come from the chickens all the way along that road and we are now here. So we've got the Uwe Ziegler slurry buy point, the Uwe Ziegler forage. And then we've got the manure heap just down behind here. Now this is what I was talking about. This plot here has got the store on it, which you can buy for 247,680. It's quite a large area. So you could put some placeables on it if you wanted to, maybe some buy points or something. But often with um, store points, because it's the trigger where vehicles are placed when you buy them or it's a reset point, it's not always as, as easy to do that. But potentially. So I think that's what it's referring to when it says buyable repair shop. What we'll do is just pull in here. Okay, let's open. Entrance to the main store is just here, with our trigger there. We can go through into the staff room, and into the workshop. Nice large area in the workshop. Doors open and close. So this is all buyable. And this is the reset point, so if anything gets stuck or you have a problem or you just want to reset, it will reset back to here. But it is quite a large space, so potentially you might be able to get some placeables on here. So that's the main store. From here. Think, think, think. Right. Oh, that's what I meant to show you. The periphery of the map. Why I'm doing that. Well, let's sell that the periphery like so which does buy all the other bits and bobs around again for potentially for placeables 1,245,180 if you're one of those people that set yourself a target of wanting to buy all the plots of land on a map or you like to buy the periphery at the start of a storyline or a let's play kind of off camera to allow potentially placeables and things that may be what you want to do. I want to go this way. 
So what I consider to be say, the main sell point, I suppose, you know, we have got a few sell points, is Farm Firm, which is down here, the southern part of the map. Now this has got about four, I think, four sell points. And this is the one where I said about the wood chip one was in a very peculiar place. we will just pull in here, and we'll look south. What we'll do is go into the menu, go across one, and we'll go to the sawmill. Now that's your wood chip sell point, because your lumber sell point, they never give you a price for the lumber, it's just because that can fluctuate a lot more. Now if I tag place, he says, it's right there in the middle, which is odd. I, I'm not sure whether it's supposed to be over there with that one. I don't know. Um, if we go back to the map and scroll across, we'll zoom right in now. So here we have got Farm Firm Exports, which is hard to see on there. Oh no, Farm Firm Supplies, that's what that is. So we've got Farm Firm Supplies, Farm Firm Export, which is this point here. Again, if I just go on to here and there, and we go to Farm Firm Export, Tag Place, that's that one there. We've got the, the wood chip one, which seems to be in the middle there. This one here is Farm Firm Grain, I think it is, this one. Let's go to Farm Firm Grain, Tag Place. Yep, Farm Firm Grain is in this one. And then this one in here was farm firm root crop. But I will just double check that. Farm firm root crops, tag place. There you go. Just in here. So, export, wood chip, grain, root crop. And then we've got another buy point. Which if it's like the one at Ag Supplies, we'll do chaff line pig food TMR for fert fertiliser. Seed, silage, herbicide, and liquid fertilizer. Which brings us on to the last of the sale points, which is the biogas plant. Now, this is the full power shift required mod. But this is rather nice. Because this takes a whole load of stuff, and it pays out very, very nicely too. If you own it, of course. You still need to own the biogas plant, if you're going to use the biogas plant. So, coming across here, we come to the biogas plant. Justin here again, plenty of space. Two huge bunker silos. With our digester or tip into the digesting system. So that's your cell point, and that's your digestate for your byproduct comes out of there. This on the map is just here, and it will cost you 447,314 to buy. So we'll buy it. We go across one then we go to biogas plant you will see if i scroll across it will take potatoes it will take sugar beet 900 for each it pays for those we scroll across it will take silage at 450. now that's interesting because the biogas plant now obviously you're going to get digestate as a byproduct but if we go look further down at the forage places they're paying 744 and 705 for bales of silage but then you don't get a byproduct, so I suppose that's kind of the trade-off there. Um, but yeah, then it will also take grass, hay, straw, silage, and digestate. Uh -huh. Oh no, sorry, manure and, and slurry. I was like, why would it take digest digestate? That's the byproduct. No, um, manure, uh, 450. So you'll get as much for manure as you do for silage, and then um, you can sell your slurry there as well for 287. So quite a lot of things you can sell. At the biogas plant and get a byproduct from it as well. I'm just looking at the map now, thinking. Yeah, then we head north back to start for farm where we started. Yeah, pretty much everything, I think. Wait, 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 wait. I did forget one. <laughs> Should have been the second farm I showed you because I crossed back over to avoid the traffic. I drove straight past it. South of Field 20, we've got cows and sheep here at this farm. I suddenly thought, I didn't see the sheep anywhere. So we are here. 
south of field 20 we started off here i went to that one crossed back over went all the way up we did the sawmill and all of this and i forgot to show you this one here so just south of field 20. Uh, the cost of this plot is 316,991 you can have 100 cows here and 250 sheep the triggers are here for the sheep with the pasture out here the feed troughs are round the side here so a water trough there feed trough there for the sheep they don't require much else they don't require bedding or anything like that but our point for wall pallets is there tucked around the corner and then the cows are this side there water trough is over here slurry pit there water trough there two different bunker silos open bunker silos here the manure pit mm, is that around the corner I'm trying to think where that was oh it was around there um but we don't have bunker silos oh i'm talking about don't bunker silos. I just showed you the two bunker silos um there so that's the manure pit i'm pretty sure yeah the milk churns are there where was the trigger for dialogue box i think it might have been this end yeah here we are just here there's your dialogue box so 100 cows at this one 250 sheep almost forgot to show it almost for the price as well, I mean, I know you can't do as many cows at this one, but if you wanted to start out and get the ball rolling, this is one of the cheaper farm plots, and you get two sets of animals in one at this one. Uh, did I see... Where's there a water point at this one? Don't recall seeing one. I mean, there are loads dotted around the map. Oh, that was something I needed to check, wasn't it? There was the... Um, those slurry domes. I will do that before we finish there you go, water point there just by the side of the road I'm here at one of the domes that are around the map if I press L3 it's a storage pit 200,000 litres I'm assuming it will do slurry and digestate because I've already put some slurry in this because I thought if it was a buy point or I could empty into it now I'm assuming you're going to slurry tanker because this is a slurry spreader but you do need to own the land that it's on because when I first came alongside this it wouldn't let me do anything at all so I had to buy this field and it's right on the edge of that plot so any of the fields that have got these next to them you can buy these up and give yourself some extra storage for slurry and potentially digestate. I wonder if I can just dump my diet in my slurry and so yes, I've just emptied out my slurry. Uh, slurry or digestate, two hundred thousand liters. That's what those tanks are, and that brings us to the end of this look at Dutch Colony by Dutchfield. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape, or form. If you have, channeling silly G, silly G, smash that like button. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, thanks for watching.